Guys, I couldn't be more excited to be up here introducing our next presenter. I met him for the first time on a Florida road trip with Fred Graves and Brandon Cunningham driving all across that toasty, humid, warm state, paying uh, at every toll booth along the way, which I think is unique to Florida. It's how they finance themselves. That's why they're so beautiful. And I decided to stop for lunch with my sister and my brother-in-law. And we ate at a, a Japanese restaurant um, somewhere between Jacksonville uh, from having met, uh, been with uh, the Pearsons up there. And we we're on our way down to Tampa and we stopped in a little place outside of a town called Indy Atlantic. And that's where my sister lives. And my sister showed up and my brother-in-law showed up. And so did another couple guys. And one of them was like the Energizer Bunny. And his, well, I won't tell you his name, but He's like the Energizer Bunny because you could just feel his energy at that lunch. I think he drank like 50 glasses of water and was just talking a mile a minute. I'm like, man, who is this guy? And members of his team, Fred and, and Brian said, Ryan, watch this guy. He's going all the way to the top. In fact, we couldn't stop him if we wanted to. Well. It goes without saying, he's an avid athlete and biker. Um, he did once actually win the Tour of, Tour de France and he was disqualified because he was riding a unicycle. That's the true story. <laughs> Guys, truly hold on to your, uh, to your belongings because if you don't, they will blow to the back of the room when this guy comes up to stage. He's a great guy, he's become a great friend. His son and my niece are in the same class at school. Give it up for our very own, straight out of Indy Atlantic, Florida, the one and only, our very own, Mr. Gary Stern. Are you guys as fired up as I am? Seriously. Steven Wheeler, dude, you should be a comedian. Seriously, man. You, I, I know, I don't know if you could get residuals from that, but seriously. And Tess, awesome job. Kazzy, great job yesterday. My name is Gary Stern. As Ryan said, I'm from Indy Atlantic, Florida, and I am a professional network marketer. But I didn't start off that way. I had a dream. I had a dream of being financially free, free from the constraints on my time, free from the constraints on money. I wanted total liberty for me and my family. What's your dream? I was a physical therapist who treated top professional athletes all over the world. It was awesome, right? That sounds like a cool job, except the pay was like this, and the hours were like that, and insurance companies, they just kept complicating things. So I left the Stedman Hawkins Clinic after losing my dad to cancer and after my mom's cancer worsened. I moved home to take care of her and thankfully got to spend two more years with her before she passed away. This started the next chapter of my life and that's pharmaceutical sales. Yeah, I'm one of those drug reps that everybody wants to recruit into their business. I went to work for GlaxoSmithKline and I learned a lot. Went to the top, number one out of 600 reps in the nation. It was more financially rewarding, but it came with a super big toll on my family, stress to make my numbers, and even less time with my beautiful bride, Danielle, and my son, Lance. I was yearning for something else, something that didn't have those financial limitations, something that gave me more time, more financial freedom. You guys know the drill. Well, thankfully, I'm an avid cyclist, like Ryan pointed out, and that guy right there, Simon Kessler, with his help, I've, I've won five state cycling championships. That ain't nothing. He came to me in 2011 and he said, I've got something I want to share with you. Share with my elite athletes. And I thought, wow, that's cool. Little did I know that that would lead to a three-way phone call with that guy. Master Pro 10, Brandon Cunningham. And six days later, a live meeting. 
drove all the way from Tampa. This resulted in me saying yes to an industry that I had already said no to, get this guys, 28 times, including my best friend, five months before Simon came to me. I became, a prof I became a network marketer on March 17th, 2011, and I had no clue what the future would hold. All I knew was that I had a dream and that I, I believe that this opportunity might allow that dream to come true. Well, fast forward three and a half years. Has it been easy? Heck no. It's taken, it's taken me way out of my comfort zone to get to elite. Who in here, and I want to see hands, who in here has faced adversity in their life? Raise your hands. Let me see them. Everybody, right? It's tough. How do you think it is when you lose both parents by the time you're 27 years old? You think that's tough? But I had a dream. How about getting hit by a car while training on a bike just six weeks after enrolling as a Life Vantage distributor? Yeah, I wasn't able to walk or work. I couldn't even figure out if this opportunity was real or not. I had to have major knee reconstruction, miss four weeks of work, and wonder if I'd ever ride again. But I had a dream, and I had help. Cynthia Delaney, I saw her in the back, I was gonna point, thank you. Thank you for that phone call and believing in me way before I believed in myself that this would ever happen. Four months and countless, absolutely. Isn't that what we do, believe in others before they have that belief in themselves? Four months, countless hours of therapy later, and another adversity was overcome. State championship number five. <clears throat> Fifteen months after enrolling in Life Vantage, I hit the rank of Pro 6. I thought, this is it. With things happening the way it's going, Pro 7 is right there, right around the corner. Right, guys? But I believe this so strongly that it was only three months away that I quit my job in pharmaceutical sales. Show of hands here. How many of you want to fire your boss? That's just about everybody. It's liberating. It's awesome. But three months went by, and three more months, and three more months, and I'm still a Pro 6. Almost two years had gone by, and it seemed like Pro 7 would never happen. It's March of this year, and these two guys are drilling it towards Pro 10, the Cunninghams. They had teams that were on fire. One of my best friends in this business hit Pro 7 that month, but my business was in reverse. So was my attitude, my belief, my desire, my actions. You guys know the feeling. I'd basically given up. So what do you do? You go on vacation with your family. And you go blow out the other knee on March 25th when I was snowboarding. Here we go all over again at rock bottom, not only mentally but physically. So March ended with a bang for some, not me. After surgery this time, the recovery was tons harder than before. I distinctly remember calling Brandon and congratulating. I'm like, hey, great job on Pro 10, bro. And then I unloaded on my life vantage therapist. We all have our therapists in this business, right? About not being where I wanted to be in this business, not being where I deserve to be. How many of you guys feel that way? Where you want to be a higher rank or make more money? I said, Brandon, I might not be able to make it to convention. I've got a million other places I'd rather be. Warm, exotic locations all over the world. But I had a dream, and Brandon knew it, and he said, come to convention with an open mind, like it's your first event, like you just started, tune everything else out. And I did that on April 24th. And by May 25th, just 30 days later, with an amazing team who rank advanced over 60 people in one month, guys, six zero in one month, went to Pro 7. From rock bottom to the top in a month. Thank you guys. I think I'm supposed to look there. Some of them are up there, they said, and some are over there. Word. Had I missed that convention, I wouldn't have even known that I would have quit just steps away from true freedom. Don't let anybody steal your dreams. They're yours. Only you can make them a reality. Above all, don't let anybody or any self-doubts get in your way. Will it get hard? Heck yeah. Will there be bumps in the road? You bet. But is it all worth it? You bet. Heck yeah. Thank you, Bert. Unsuccessful distributors, they let every little thing get in their way. Any little thing stops them in their tracks, but not successful distributors. No. You know what they do? They don't sweat the small stuff. They just get it done. They take action. It's not what happens to you. 
It's how you react to it that determines the outcome. So if you're brand new, do the right thing long enough and sustain it with consistency and you'll achieve everything you've always dreamed of. And if you're a distributor that's been involved two, three, four, five years and you're not where you want to be, hit the reset button. You can change your life by changing your choices. Your choices become your behaviors. Behaviors repeated become your habits and those habits compounded over time become your life. The life that you've always dreamed of. Hey. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. All right? All right. You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you you can't do it. You want something, go get it. Period. Guys, I am living my dream. Let's go help you achieve yours. Thank you very much. All I do is win, 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 no matter what.